Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the You Feel Me podcast. It's yours truly, the one and only, as always here, Manda. Yes, sir. You got your boy OJ. Excuse my voice today. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling a little bit, I wouldn't say under the weather, but you know, the rain got to me, so my voice is a little bit nasally, but we here. It's all Let's good. <laughs> <laughs> got your boy C's checking in, as usual. MK Styles on this beautiful Sunday, but you'll see this on Thursday. Of course. I was like, it's not that beautiful. Though. Yeah, at all. <laughs> hopefully cool Thursday. Outside. Well, hopefully Thursday is beautiful in this <laughs> drop. Yeah. No, this week's going to be nice, bro. It's going up to like 16, 18 degrees. Yeah, Toronto's finally getting warm. How do you, just a little bit. How do you guys feel about the winter that we experienced? This was... Weak. Bro, global I'm, warming I'm, I'm is real. Good, I'm good with it, fam. What do you mean weak? <laughs> I'm just saying like... <laughs> I'm good I'm just it. saying like snow-wise, like it just wasn't that serious. Like it was weak, like... like I ain't like I, I didn't feel any ways about it. Apparently it this was like something called the El Nino winter where it's like it's like we not we're not supposed to get like any or barely any snow, so like Yeah. And it only happens like once every like couple like hundred years or something like that, or like maybe yeah. even less, but like a what lot does that of mean years. Though? I don't know. This right, shit next just... year is going to be fucked. Yeah. Fuck. That's what I'm assuming. Like, it's an El Nino. And I'm like, that doesn't sound... It's either that or it's just global warming, fam. Right? And if it's global warming, that's just... That's even worse. <laughs> okay, yeah. I don't believe in that, though. You guys actually believe it's global warming, though? I don't believe in global warming. They've been saying global warming since man's were alive. Yeah, man's are manipulated in the weather. Well, think so. about it, though. When we were younger, fam, winters were winters. Dog. Yeah. Like, we got brother, boxed with winter, brother, dog. Like, Bear yeah, snow yeah, yeah, found yeah, yeah. brick. We're still going to school nowadays. Like we had like what three snowfalls maybe this year, and they were nothing. Yeah, and it's a lot warmer. Like, nah, when I was, when we were younger, winter seemed mud. Winter was mud. Winter, yo, winter definitely seemed crazy. But now Man, it's just like it's weak now. Man used to be outside at recess, all bundled, like bundled trying up. to you know try to like stay, stay warm, warm and take, like penguins on the on the playground. <laughs> dog. That's what I'm saying, dog. <laughs> And the summers, the summers too, dog. Well, the summer is only getting hotter. I think last last year was the hottest summer. They said no, that's cap. Last summer was trash. No, like it it rained, but like but yeah, it was uh, still hot. Some days was are it? really hot. I think so. They said so, it. They uh, said or it was the summer before or that. They said twenty twenty three was the hottest year. Like I heard recorded. that. I seen that, but so, not not in Canada though. Or no, Toronto. Summer was pretty hot. It was fucking humid. Yeah, it was pretty hot in summer. Yeah, so. It summer rained summer. a lot though. It rained, it rained a, lot. a lot. But that's what I'm saying. But it was still like humid. Uh, I, like I didn't. I didn't the earth was still hot. I feel like we had way more hotter summers than last summer still probably but we hey they broke the record so i don't know facts you know what i'm saying yeah man but anyways yo actually i wanted to i I wanted to bring this up too so um what's it called big brother started this week Mm -hmm. we don't have to get into it but like i began like crazy like dms and shit like yo we need you back we need you back type shit because like you guys don't watch it obviously (laughs) (laughs) I watch them things that are. You actually don't watch it too, but here's the thing. So this season they brought back like two All Stars, right? So that's why people were messaging me because they're like, "Yo, like this is bullshit. Like we wanted you back." This and like fans are like in my DMs, dog, cheese about it. Even you people, want yo, jammers? I ran, yeah, jammers. <laughs> and even uh, the other day I went to, so I was working my both my jobs. I finished one and I go to this bar in between. I was just sitting at the bar, dog. These two girls come up to me. They're like, "Yo, why are you not like why are you not in the house?" Type shit. I'm like. Hey man, they're not putting me on. Like, yo, they have so many sponsors now. Like, like ten sponsors, fam. Yeah. I, they can't market me with that shit. No. Dog. <laughs> Everyone's gonna get pop. Oh no, <laughs> <dog. laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, like, bro, if if they were serious and they wanted the ratings, like, they it makes it's perfect. You but know like, it? we're in a time where it's like there's cancel culture, there's sponsors. Like, yeah, I'm like a risky like type of character yeah, like gotta, you can't control me you gotta turn yourself into brown nigga you gotta be the most marketable <laughs> thing out there fam. ain't nothing yeah. you can't do <laughs> nah, for real but i was just no i just wanted to bring it up because it's, like, it's just crazy that four years later four years later and people still come up to be in person yeah, dm so. me like yo we want you back we want you back and like that's kind of like where like you know you feel me kind of blew up too you know what i'm saying so yeah even though you know they did me dirty it's like the positives I could take out of it. Exactly. Like, you know, you feel me. And I guess just the people I met. So, yeah. No, no it's, just, it's just crazy. It's been four years, fam. It's just like I had a reflection this week. I'm like, damn, like four fucking years. Like time actually goes by yeah. so fucking quick. Fam. Time flies. 
You but know, that's so you know you left your imprint over there, dog. You know what I'm saying? Seventeen days. Yeah. You know, there's people who go 70, 80 days in that crib and no one knows anything. No one knows who the <laughs> fuck they are. <laughs> Walk past them on the road and no one will know who they are, bro. Yeah, fam. So oh, that's tough, bro. Nah, nah. It's been a crazy week still, but I'm happy we're the people that went back. Cause they, so they brought back two all stars basically. You know who they are? Yeah, um, I don't think you, you never met them. Um, some guy named Dougie and this next girl named. No, we hooped. We hooped with him, no. Oh yeah, you, oh, oh the yeah, big guy, yeah, the big guy, Dougie. Yeah, 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 so bro. he went back, and then this next like black, black girl went back. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm happy for them. Hope they kill it, dog, because it's them two against a new roster of people. <laughs> so, so why wouldn't they have brought back like one of the winners, like Tyshawn or like um, homie that was on the other day? Terrell, um, yeah, Terrell. I don't know. I don't know. They just, I guess, well, the two, the two people that they brought on, they're like, like Anthony made it to final two. Mm. Like he almost won. Mm. And then the next girl, she's just a crazy personality. Like she okay. has crazy energy. She's from Hamilton, black. The white team. girl? Oh, she's black. black. Okay. Yeah. So, and then Dougie's black. Yeah. Okay. That's their quota of the season because they're the only two niggas oh, in the house. Man, that's funny as <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But hey, man, shout out to those people. But yeah. Okay. Anyways. Nice little big brother talk. <laughs> I just said, give a little shout out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, because it was on my mind the whole week and I was just like thinking about it. I was just like, oh, it's been four years, you know? Yeah. Without Big Brother, it probably wouldn't be. It, it'd probably be a different name, though. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. for sure, for sure. Probably would have done a podcast, but what about you know the name? Now we probably wouldn't have. You don't think so? No, because remember the way this came about was when me and you tried to do the yeah the one on one after the X-Men, yeah 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 Charlemagne type <laughs> Kanye interview. And we, filmed, the we filmed it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you wanted to release that one, that <laughs> one day just for the hell of it. I, I don't know the if audio I audio was messed up. That's what it was. But I don't know if I still have that though. We might, oh, have, we might deleted have deleted it. it. Yeah, uh, it was like a deep cut, bro. That would have yeah. been six. Probably so, uh, shot like a crate. Like, like what was it? One hour? Yeah, I found, it was like a. You remember that Kanye Charlemagne interview yeah, yeah, yeah. when Kanye was on a munting and he sat down with Charlemagne. <laughs> This guy was fresh out the crib and me and this guy sat down and I'm like, I'm like yeah. asking him like the X on the beach, right? It was fresh off of that. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. fresh yeah. off. And of I that. told you bare things yeah. like happened on that show. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The shorty was coming at me online type shit. So I was yeah. like, yo, I need a you know, I need yeah, exactly. a exactly. Like, yo, I need to address the rumors, dog. <laughs> I'm like, all right, I'm saying less, dog. I got you. Like I know what to ask yo, you. I don't do crack. <laughs> And then because of that, um, it didn't work out because the sound got messed up. And then yeah. that's when we were like, yo, dog, we should do a podcast, man. Take it serious. <laughs> buy the mic, yeah. buy the tings. And then six months later, that's what I'm saying. Feel me was bored. Because like, <laughs> man's were like, yo, if we're going to do something, like, let's not just rush into it yeah. and just set up to one camera and yeah, start yeah, talking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bass have to like, invested it yeah mm-hmm. i think that was like july or august and yeah, then, so i remember it's summertime yeah and then by february so like six months yeah that's when we got the yeah, chef i'm so now we lit baby we lit you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyways yeah this is that was very uh, heart heartwarming you know <laughs> telling people to come up and everything so no lie. all right bro who we what we get into today all right so yo i got a question for the mandem yeah you know what I'm saying? Let's hear that. i feel like it's a it's a deep deep question in mm-hmm. a way um the question is in a man's life, who do you guys think should come first or will come first when that time comes for each of us? Would it be your mom who birthed you, took care of you your entire life? You know what I'm saying? Got you to where you are today. Would it be your wife? You know what I'm saying? Your rib, your right hand. Or if mans have a daughter, would it be your daughter? Like who's going to come first for you guys in your life? What do you guys think? Who wants to tackle that? <laughs> <laughs> I asked it, so I'll answer. I'll answer last. Uh, I'll, let answer last? I'll start. I'll let y'all settle on that one. I'll start. So for me, the way I look at it is like, my daughter's going to come first. That's like my bloodline. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's that's the point of life, right? Like, mm-hmm. you know, to have that, to have my daughter, to nurture her, to protect her until, until I'm gone, right? And then second is my mother. Without her, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have my daughter. Mm-hmm. And then third is my wife. Because again, without my mother, I wouldn't, she would never have met me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Yeah, I was in, yeah, wife goes, definitely comes last. Mm. I think because the child, that's the future, your legacy, and your mom, she brought you here. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, so it'd be the same as his. Because really, really and truly, she can't, she can't be my wife if she has a problem with my mom's. 
Yeah. Oh, that's a fact. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, but it's close though. Like daughter and moms, like that's like I'm a mama's boy, so yeah. it's gonna I be hard. Like we're all, yeah, we're all mama's. Boys. Yeah, yeah, so it definitely be the wife's definitely last. Like yeah. I don't know, I don't care if I sound like a dick, <laughs> but the wife is definitely last because it's just like, bro, your first child, or it doesn't matter. We're, if we're your talking first about second. your wife though. Eh? Like no, I get it, but not, like not, not like your girlfriend. Nah, like, no, I get. I got a ring on it. Bam, I get it. She just last. You know what I'm saying? It's still a hard decision. Like I'm gonna be like hurt to put her last, but that's easy for me to like, like third third place in that competition yeah. is is an honor like yeah, you know exactly. what i mean Fact. I you know what i'm saying but it's a close between the the mom and the and the, and the child because yeah it's my yeah. mom like you know what i'm saying mama's boy fam so I, but the daughter is just like once you have that daughter fam you yeah. take care of it from like a small and then you mm -hmm. fam, you're gonna you're gonna fall in love exactly. you know and like mm -hmm. the thing is our mom was our first love so it's like that's gonna be our next real true love and our wife. Yeah. Like, that love that we have for our daughter is gonna be obviously Facts. deeper than what mm -hmm. we have for our wives, right? So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, if you can kick rocks though. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I, think that I agree, so daughter first. Because at the end of the day, facts. Wife yeah, could yeah. wife you could cut out on you, fam. Your yeah. daughter's at the end of the day, your daughter's always gonna be your daughter. Exactly. Yeah, you know that's true. I mean? That's daughter, a good way to put it. Your daughter's yeah, always gonna call you dad at the end of the day. You know what I mean? So facts. Where you at with a Caesar? Nah, so he actually just took the words from me just now. So like, I'm I'm definitely gonna go with daughter first, mom second, and wife last. Though, based on the fact that like, yeah, like your your wife could leave you. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. You always have your mom and your daughter. Like, you know, yeah, wife that's cut a, out. Dog. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> you don't see it. That's that's facts. Though, that's but again, really that's a, that's a good competition to be in. You know, just because yeah. you're third doesn't mean like you know you're not someone I'm focused on. You know, but like. Yeah. It's good competition to be in. Nah, that's like, a great even, way to put it. So yeah, it's fucked. Even if you look at it from a like, like a biological standpoint, like your mother, you were birthed from her, so that's your connection to her. Mm -hmm. Your daughter, that is your creation. Your wife, that's someone you marry. That's another person from another. It's your business partner. Like Bloodline. you know, like, like you're just, <laughs> you got, but it's like type <laughs> thing. Like you guys just meet type of thing. You know what I mean? Like your mother and your daughter literally are a part of you like mm -hmm. yeah. wifey's just the colleague you know <laughs> so, <laughs> colleague <laughs> colleague is mine yeah. um so yeah what's your answer the way i look at it because me personally i'm my mom's only son right so i'm like a true mama's boy you know what i'm saying like the love i have for my mother is just like different like you know what i'm saying especially just everything that you know she's went through to get me to the point where i'm at right now so my love for my mom is different but i can imagine having a daughter especially given that i have a younger sister and i have a younger niece um i feel like the love that fathers have for their daughters is just like it's on another level like if you have a son of course like you know that's that's like your twin it's like another spitting image of you but like i feel like the love of uh a dad has for his daughters is deep because like like this guy said like you know bro you're responsible for this human being they're super impressionable you got to protect them so i feel like for me it's like i feel like it'd be a tie between my mom that's and what my i'm daughter, saying dog. that's what i'm you saying, what I'm saying? but it, it's definitely my mom and my daughter i feel like that's a tie because like i'm responsible for my daughter i got to protect her from the world i got to nurture her you know that's my legacy you know what i'm saying so it's like you're her superhero yeah you're her superhero literally. i'm like you ever see the way daughters look at their dads like uh -huh. yeah bro, that's their superhero literally fam. so you know what i'm saying like you gotta be there for them whereas like obviously your wife she's gonna be there with you she helps you create the daughter but i think the best way you guys put it is like yo she could cut out like obviously she's your wife the love is there and you hope that she never does but life happens fam you never know uh, facts one thing i know is my mom is always going to be there for me mm -hmm. and as long as i take care and nurture my daughter the way i should she's always going to be there for me too facts you know what i'm saying yeah. so i feel like it's a tie between my daughter and my mom and then yeah my wife is like a close second so you gotta you gotta put yeah. one two and three my nigga you gotta put one and two <laughs> It's a one two for me, dog. They're they're tied at first. They the they're tied the at first, though. No, <laughs> I can't. To, but I like, can't. The question is, who comes first? Who did you be, say first? I did. It, ask it has to. It has so. to. It has to be like for me. It's my daughter. Like, yeah. of course, the like the love for my mom is right there. But like when you have that daughter, yeah. fam, like, yeah, and that's the same. That's the same thing with our parents. Like, our parents probably love our grandparents 
But when they had us, yeah. that's that different type of love. That's that yeah. connection. Like, nah, like facts. you know what I mean? I feel like yeah. I feel like our dukes would be like too, like, yo, I've lived my life, I've taken care of you to get you to this point. Now you have your own. Mm-hmm. That needs to be your focus. I feel like our parents would tell us yeah, that. They would yeah. tell us that. They would tell us that. Yeah, they would tell us. Yo, that's your kid. You gotta make sure that, yo. Through anything that's going on, you're there for that child. Yeah. And you like, probably, don't worry about me. Like, I'm going to be all right. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I know you love me, but, like, that's your responsibility. I feel like that's something my mom would say to me personally. And you could probably ask your parents, like, the exact same question with, like, who would you put? And they would probably put us yeah. first. Yeah. You know what For I mean? sure. Yeah. Nah, I hear that for sure. So... So yeah, one and two still or tight, tight, yeah. tight. <laughs> we got to still tight, tight bro. bro. We gotta go one and two. Nah, and nah, three. Probably the daughter. Probably yeah. the daughter. So yo, that's, finish your I'm, jam. One huh? and two. No, I said the same. I said the same as oh, you though. Okay. From yeah. the jump, I said I just yeah. said it would be a super like close like, you know, between the moms and the daughter, fam. Cause yeah. you know, but if if I if I had to, if I had it my way, it would, it would be a tie. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. to answer the question, yeah, it would be like daughter, mom, and then yo. Mm. Wife, sorry. <laughs> colleague. Ew. Colleague, if you ask Okay, but yo, what about like, what was that question? Uh, Who comes first? Nah, the twins put in the group chat with the oh, wifey and the man. Okay. Let's, let's switch it over to the wifey, though. You got to show some love to the life yeah. wifey, though. Yeah, you got to show some love. What scenario can we put in that situation? <laughs> okay, so your girl messaged you first. Yeah. Yeah. Says, yo, Caesar, Caesar's snaking you. Like, watch out for your boy. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I don't think he's a good friend. Stay away from him. Blah, blah, blah. Then your brethren, your homeboy texts you, yo, fam, yo, your girl's a skeckle. You know what I'm saying? She's cheating. Mm-hmm. Like, she, like, find another girl type shit. Like, you know? Who are you going to believe first? Like, who, like, believable? Who are you going with at the end of the day? Uh, if I'll answer first. I feel like there's a core group of mans mm-hmm. that if they tell me that, I'll call them, tell them to explain to me. From there, I already know, like, they're not going to lie to me. You know what I mean? Like, if you guys were to tell me that, and, like, a few other mans, yo, what's going on? And yeah. then you tell, yo, this is what da 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 I see her do blah, 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 blah. All right, say no more. I'm done with her. But, like, let's say it's, like, a man, like, outside of the group that tells me that. Yeah. Like, I got to do a little bit more investigating. Like, you know what I yeah, mean? I'm, I'm not just taking anyone's word for it. But, again, yeah, like you said, a core group of people. But if you were to take someone's word, though. No, no. For... Actually, so, go ahead. Go so, Jam, if you if you texting me and said my my girl's a skeckle, yeah, and you see her cheating, I'm gonna call you and you break down the situation to me. I'm done with her. Okay, no questions asked. Yeah, I'm not even listening to her. So, so you won't you won't allow her to explain her. So nah. you're gonna bleed me off rip. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I was I was about to say the same thing. Like, I'm going with I'm going with the man himself. I'm not gonna listen to her. Yo, your friend, uh, dude, this is a snake for this and that. What are you gonna believe? I'm like, bro, cut that shit. Why is my nigga gonna lie to me? Why is he gonna lie to me? I would say that, yeah. Nah, I'm I'm, I'm agreeing with you guys, bro. There's nothing, there's nothing to say. I agree with nothing. <laughs> you know? Easy. Yeah. yeah, I mean, so they're texting you at the same time, basically. Okay. And I agree with the way he said in regards to like, for me personally, there's a there's there's certain mans where it's like you know we all have friendships where it's like yo you have your friends, mm. you have acquaintances, yeah. and then you have like your brothers, like top dogs type shit. Life, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So if certain mans were to hit me, it's like why, like what would be your incentive to lie to me? Yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, for me now, like if I'm involved with a woman and like that's my woman, like you know what I'm saying I confide in her. Like there's a certain level of trust and understanding that I have with her. So it's like if they're both texting me at the same time, that's kind of fishy to me. Like why are you guys both texting me? So that's gonna bring my mind to be like, yo, like what's going on? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm going to have to ask some questions because like, I, I'd be kind of looking yeah. at that's both sides in a way. Yeah. Like, this is kind of too convenient. Like, what's what's going on? The, the only thing different I would do from you two is I would probably want to hear both sides, but I'm going to believe my dog side though. Like, you know, I believe so. Ooh. But I, I, I would still want to hear both sides. Just see so like, I'm you not know, hearing like, no shorty side. Like, again, you know? again, like, like, like OJ was saying, like, it would be weird that they're both texting me. That's why I said, like, I would have to call my dogs right away. Like, what's mm. going on? Because it's like, Cause human instinct is like, bro, both you guys are texting me. Like, 
Did but, y'all do something together? Yeah, you know exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like that's where my mind's gonna no, take no, it. Wait, wait, like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> that's wild. That's too. crazy, fam. That's not crazy. That this is, is crazy. This is real I, life. I, I would never. Same time. This is real life. That's like, too what, convenient. What, Why aren't both you guys texting what exactly me at the same time? What happened that made you guys both exactly? Maybe, nah. maybe, but maybe, like, let's say, like. Shorty got caught slipping at the mall with a nigger. So yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, like, you know, like, I'm I walked up and be like, yo, <laughs> I'm snitching. You're done. I'm not thinking like that. I'm yeah. not thinking because if that's your brother, I'm not going to even think you would ever try my shorty like that. That's, nah, that's me, though. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like, I would, my, I would not allow my mind to go to the worst possible idea ever between two people that I'm really close with, especially my brother and my girl. But at the same time, it's like, if they both text me, I'm going to the like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be like, yo, my boy caught you in something, mm-hmm. and you know, nah. you don't want him telling me, so that's why you're both texting me. That's at least what I'm running with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And if I see other things that prove otherwise, then you know, you know, yeah, no, <laughs> it's just in that situation, just given that you said like, yo, they texting me at the same time, like, you know, that's just. I don't know. My mind just works. I like. I, I got to. That's figure crazy some that shit I went out. to there. Though. I got to figure <laughs> some shit out, bro. You that probably wouldn't have been the first thing, but uh, later on, like, do through like probably thinking about it, that probably would have crossed my mind. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna hold you, though. Because the way I look at it, it's like, yo, like I said, my brother, like, yo, my, like, we've been through thick and thin. Like, mm-hmm. there would be literally no reason for you to to come up with such a thing unless it really yeah. happened. Exactly. So, like, you know, I definitely like would believe it, right? But at the same time, like a woman that. I'm claiming to be my girl, like, bro, like, we've been through it. Like, I trust the fuck out of her, too. Well, like we said, with the, with the whole mother-daughter wife thing, like, a wife could leave you, fam. That's true. So your girl, even though you've been through it with her, she'll still leave you at the end of the day. Right. At least right. my dog, you know, that's going to be my dog forever. Yeah. Be my brother forever, you know what I'm saying? But life does happen, fam. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I, your dog I, is your dog, but sometimes shit happens in life, too, with your dog. No, I, I, no, for sure. There's obviously this bare stories of niggas snaking each other. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's like, over, when it comes to the brother, my mm-hmm. brothers, and a girl, I'm going with the man every single time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, your boys can snake you. Yeah. Your man, your own niggas can snake you. Yeah. But like... I don't know. I'm more. I'm more. I'm more fearful of the girl, dog. Nah, I hear you. You gotta Cheetah. watch out for the girl. Yeah, when it comes to the girl, nah, dog. Nah, you know what I'm saying, so dog. Like, have you guys ever been in that situation, or like, were you like you caught like one of your dog's girls? Like, I don't think I have. No, no. None of the you know you don't you don't remember, the you don't remember a couple years ago when what? I was at Luxie's and I sent you a video. <laughs> <laughs> This guy's saying, Yo, listen, if I ever catch any of my, I'm getting full proof. I'm not, a real I, nigga I, still. I'm, not, I'm not one of those guys gonna text you. I'm gonna give you full it proof. Wasn't, it wasn't my girl, but yeah, you know. But like, I seen that. Me, me and my next dog's caught her. I was like, hold on. Yeah. Oh. I said, I'm about to text this guy. I put her on Snapchat. Yeah. <laughs> my next dog went in the video. was like, posing behind the thing, like, yo. <laughs> Just to make sure it was live, I'm like, yep, that's I crazy. Bet, you remember that, right? <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> that's wild. You nah, guys sent me that video. I sent it right to you. Know what I'm saying? As soon as I as soon as I catch something like that, no talking. Right? I'm catching a full video, full footage. That's crazy. That way, you, you can't combat what I'm saying. I'm yeah. giving full hard concrete proof. Uh, that was actually insane. But nah, I think all the men have had pretty loyal girlfriends right yeah i've ca- I haven't caught none of you <laughs> yeah i've never <laughs> caught no. yeah i've never seen any of you guys girlfriends live like that and like i barely get into relationships so i would say loyal in the public guy maybe but girls are girls are girls are that's scary that you said <laughs> <laughs> <He's laughs> what do you say loyal in the public guy <laughs> like no he's not lying though no that's a fact me being me being younger and like you know like Having some experiences with women, you know. Women are very, 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 very sneaky still. Yeah. And they're quick with it still. Yeah. Super quick with it. Yeah. You won't even know, fam. You won't even know until they, until they, until they get mad and, and you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That you said you had your friend's house out there. What you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? You sound like you've been in some shit, dog. Yeah, definitely. When I was younger, like in the 20s, like early 20s. Mm-mm. I say that like niggas are old, dog. I'm not saying that like we're you? old, but we're not in our early 20s anymore. Yeah, we're, we're, not, not, we're, no, we're on the ladder. We're not even in the mid 20s, no, though. Not, <laughs> but at first, the man's sitting in 20s, and then he's said early 20s. Like, yeah. you don't say it like you're done past your 20s. <laughs> hey, man. Eight years ago, we were 20. When we turned 28 this year, eight we're, years ago, we'll be 20s. We're still in our 20s, though. It's though. almost a decade, Caesar. I'm just saying, we're still in our 20s. We though. are in our 20s, but, you know. But based off how he said it, it made it sound like we were in our 20s. Nigga, we old. No, you Island still. Um, yeah. If you were in high school right now and a nigga told you he was 28, you were going, damn! <laughs> <laughs> you 
niggas was doing that. I wasn't doing that's that. That's a fact. You guys are a joke. When I was like 19, 20, 21, if anyone told me they were 26 oh. or older, I'm like, damn, nigga, you old as shit. All I rapper. Niggas, what about all you want to hear this man? Look who you's giggling. All I rapper. <laughs> what did the Vigo say? 33, so try to copy me. All I rapper. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, we're still young. We're 28 years are still young, dog. Late 20s is still young, fam. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. I still feel young as fuck. So. Nah, we're no, still facts. We're still young, but it's just like, you know, we're not them young niggas no more. We, we, yeah. We're just them niggas now. I guess, you know, <laughs> we're not like rookies or whatever. Like, you know, we're, we, got, we got some seasoned nah, nah, us, y'all, y'all, we, we're, we're some seasoned vets, fam. Yeah. Our prime. <laughs> Yo, if, if we're in the league right now, fam, we're this some is, veterans. Exactly. <laughs> we're veterans at this point. These are, these are the, these are the, these Andrew are the, Wiggins is a veteran, fam. Yeah. Yeah. Those, vets? He's the same age. Just, he's a year older than us. Yeah, he's a year older than us. Yeah, so, might as well look at that 29 year old as vet. Bro, by NBA standards, that is a veteran yeah. player. What do you mean? That's almost 10 years in the league, yeah, fam. Say word. You are a vet, brother. You know, the young niggas are coming to you like, yo, OG. Yo, how how should I practice? How should I act on the road? Hey, man, I try to pull up on me. I try to climb pop, brother. <laughs> like, how you play defense like that? <laughs> like, yo. yo, what do I do with these scallies, dog? Yo. <laughs> Niggas are coming in the league, talk about yeah, man. Andrew Andrew Wiggins was my was my mentor and shit. Yeah, man, it was great. Like, yeah, fam, we're the, we the OGs, oh, fam. <laughs> get another man. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's the way to put it. Still, I get that. Still, yeah, that's gang. Though. Yo, like right that you guys ever see right that age now? Yo, you talk to a young nigga now, he's look at you like yeah, yeah, like you know, like <laughs> like you're giving the nigga something. Like, Life sauce, fam. Like, niggas looking at you like, yeah, dog, you seen some shit. Eh? Yeah, seen like, some shit, dog. yeah, I know this nigga. I know this nigga ain't getting it. I know this nigga ain't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Holy smokes. That's a question, though, given the, the age thing. Would mans want to be a centenarian, I think it's called? Or like, you go to be like 100 years old? Would mans want to be that old? Nah. It, de- it depends. Mm. No, 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 no. Def- why not? Nah. I, I didn't say nothing. I said, mm. Oh, I thought Boogie <laughs> said, nah. I was like, mm. I I don't know if I could do that still. I don't know. Just like I, I want to be a, like a really healthy old person. Like I don't want to be hundred and just like yeah. Like, people have to wheel me around uh, things and like feed me. Like yeah. Fine, right now, like I don't know. I don't think living to a hundred here. I don't know if that's possible because like all the processed foods and things like that. So you're saying in like maybe like Jamaica? Yeah, like where it's like you know you're. You're cooking your food. You're getting your meat. Like it's not like the yeah. the laboratory laboratory stuff, the GMOs, all that stuff. So it's like that shit deteriorates our body. So I don't think I'll hear. But to say I want to live to a hundred, if I was out somewhere like Jamaica or somewhere where it's like I could be a hundred and healthy, mm-hmm. yeah, I would love to. That'd be amazing. You know how you get to see so much of your bloodline develop. Like you'd be like a great, great. Great grandpa. Fam. Nah, facts. You'll definitely see the world. Fam, that's 72 years from now. Fam, so the year that we would turn 100 is 2096. 95. 95. Yeah. No, I'm 96. sorry, 96. Yeah. 96. 96. My bad. My bad. 2096. You fam. had to calculate that? Yeah. <laughs> fam, you just add 100. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm sick. I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's out of your head. Okay. I just seen the calculator <laughs> open. <now. laughs> Yo, I definitely added that, and yo, that's crazy. All you really have to do is that. It's 100, dog. <laughs> you, know, you know? Yo, I promise Ooh, you, dog. Oh, it's it's sick, brain. <laughs> oh, man. Holy. Holy fuck. But no, nah, 2096, fam. Like, bro, imagine how much the world is going to change between now and then. Dog, even in, like, just 10 years, the world's going to be changed. Gonna be like, when we're 38, it's going to be fucking... Mud, like I think the world's really look like the Jetsons and shit like that. In seventy years, it has yeah. to. What's the Je- Jetsons? Is the flying car? Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the flying car things. Futuristic. Yeah, all like, they, already, too. they already have a prototype of a flying vehicle. Yeah, I know they do. And they're starting to make robots now. Jesus, I think Christ. by by two thousand and ninety six, yeah, the world's gonna be like super AI generated. Bare AIs everywhere. Fucking I am not I am legend. I robot. I am I robot. <laughs> I robot. It could be I am legend too though. Hey, that too. The world yeah. could the apocalypse could wipe out, you know? Yeah, bro. Fam no, it's actually a hundred though, like would, well yeah, would you Yeah, I think I would want to, but like you guys said, like I like like for you, like I would wanna be no, I'm gonna be like a super healthy, like, you know, elderly person. Like yeah. I wanna be one of those old niggas that can still bang up. 
a pull up. Mm, you know pull what up, I'm saying? Right. I'm going yeah. in the gym, busting jogs. Yeah. And I'm mobile and you know. Do you remember when we lived on by Yes, by, I know exactly what you're talking nah, about. The old guy. Old the man guy. was like 80 years old, fam. It'd be like hot, sweltering heat. The man has his shirt off, he has his freaking headband on, and he's just banging like every day. Hour long jogs, fam. Every day. He's D's, fam. He looks like 80, fam. Looks you know what I'm saying? Fam. But his body is like his physique is still put together. Yeah. And he's not jogging like you know, you see old people jogging like yeah. they're mad slow. That this guy is hitting things. strides, yeah. fam. You know what I mean? So like when I imagine myself growing older, like that's how I see myself. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna stay in the gym. I'm gonna eat healthy. Yeah. So that when I get to like 80 plus, like yo, I'm still mobile. I don't have to be wheelchaired around. No one has to be feeding me or bathing me. You know. Yeah. I don't want that stuff. I don't want that. You know. Like if I'm 100 and and it's that, then nah, I don't want that. Yeah. Turn off the lights for me. You know what I'm <laughs> nah, real shit. <laughs> turn the lights off for me. Nah. That's what I was gonna say. I'm I'm cool. I'm cool with a calm 90. I guess like you know, you mean. <laughs> You mean 90? You think there's really a difference between 90 to 100, though? Yeah, probably. A big oh, difference, though. It's not that big. You don't think so? <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Um, so you're so old as shit, nigga. So it's either you're going to be a decently healthy 90-year-old person. Yeah. It's the same thing when you're 100. You ain't, like, counting, no, you ain't, you ain't counting no days at 90. Fam, years are just flying by. Yeah, yeah. Flying by. Now, flying dude. by, fam. <laughs> fam. You take it in, Joe Biden and Trump, they're in their 80s, fam. That's wild. Say a word. Yeah, Joe Biden's you don't always like man's, 85. No, no yeah. Joe Biden tr Trump bro? Trump's like 78, 79. If he wins his if he wins his pres presidency, like he'll finish his term in his 80s. Yeah. You, you know? You guys think oh, Trump's in it? I don't know. Trump there should be an age limit on that to be yeah, honest. Like, we're not, we're old not ass white guys man. judgment dog. Like <laughs> these guys are pushing a hundred and they're running the country. Dog. We don't want no forty fifty like you know what I'm saying? Like Obama 50, was maybe? like in his forties, no? I think so. Forties or fifties, so that's so. fair, but like once you push sixty five gang, like I don't know. Yeah, like call it I feel like there should be an age limit on why? that. Honestly. What do you mean? Why? 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 <laughs> Nah, bro. You want an eighty-five-year-old in charge of nukes saying, and I'm shit? I'm not saying I'm not saying an eighty-five-year-old, but like if a man's like seventy and functioning, why can't he run a country? Dog. Papa needs his rest, fam. Go go sit on, dog. Yeah, 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 work, yeah, yeah. Leave it to the young niggas, fam. <laughs> the young <laughs> niggas would ruin the world, dog. dog. The young niggas would ruin the world. And talking about it's the old niggas ruining the world, fam. Put some young niggas in there to change the shit <laughs> yeah, up a little bit, dog. The hell, young niggas like yo, who the fuck this nigga talking? Nah, nah, nah. Nuke that <laughs> Yeah Yeah You're talking all that shit Now your country in shambles Yeah Fuck your on, economy I'm nigga standing, I'm standing on business over here, Yeah He's standing on business over here Niggas <laughs> Have the old presidents, they're not even guaranteed To live that long too fam If they do a, 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 Remember a term One term is four years If Biden wins again fam will he, Is he gonna make it? <laughs> no, for real though. Nah, he be moving mad. Yeah, slow, you bro. don't see some of his like, his conferences. Right, he's, he, I swear he falls asleep sometimes. Man, man, <laughs> man don't even want eighty year olds drive him. You want them running countries, dog? Like I don't understand. That's what I'm saying. I don't understand. Can Biden even drive a car? Like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> At least Trump. Trump looks a little bit more like mobile. And yeah, he's a little bit more energetic. Exactly. Biden be creeping through them. Yeah, y'all gotta y'all gotta understand. Some of the richest niggas in the world are 80, 70 years old. No, no, but no so, doubt. But like, you know, there's some there's some experience and knowledge behind that. Like, you know, they're not just getting some got the senior citizens. So hey, I'm your president. <laughs> but it's huh? Where's the mashed potatoes? <laughs> Man, they're still fucking up the country, though. Yeah, like, they're, they're experienced and have a lot of knowledge, but nigga, America is fucked up right now. America's like, mosh up, you know? America's in a better state than fucking Canada right now. I hear that, but Canada Trudeau was at least in his 50s or 40s. Oh, no, get him out of there. Yeah, get get him him fuck a body out here, bro. How old he is, bro. Hey, if he stays trash. in charge, we, we might not have a podcast soon. Though. Yeah. <laughs> but the way it's looking, fam, I'm telling you. Nah, real real talk. Talks. They're coming up with bear like censorship on like social media and stuff like that. We might, have to, we might have to go travel out to to New York, man. Um, probably. Yeah. probably. <laughs> yeah. Bro, how long has Trudeau been in the office? Fam? It feels, like, like, it feels, like, it feels like forever. Since high school, I, yeah. I feel like. That nigga the, last, the last prime minister I remember was uh, the conservative Stephen one. Stephen Harper? Stephen Harper. Yeah. But I felt like when we were like elementary school. Yeah. Yeah, fam. Trudeau. Trudeau's on his dictatorship. So so. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that next nigga that he's running with? Who? Polier? Polier? Pierre? He's not running with him. That guy's against him. Trudeau. No, no. Okay, sorry, I meant like Pierre, against, yeah. Pierre Oliver. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, 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 he seems pretty like you know. He seems legit. Yeah, yeah. we're going to that guy next election. This so. though. We have have man's ever voted? Yeah, yeah, I voted one time. Really? Who do you yeah. vote for? Um, I don't even think it was on a uh pro, not provincial. Uh, it was for this. It, it wasn't federal. Jobs? It was like a municipal. Yeah, yeah. Type for mayor. 
of yeah. Ajax, I think <laughs> it was. <of> Ajax. <laughs> <laughs> you voted for the black girl, no? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys voted for whoever. I think I so. I think it was the same thing he's talking so. about. My mom told me to do it. I'm like, all right, bro. I guess I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> she came to my house. <laughs> that shit. I've never voted in my life. Never yeah. voted? Yeah. One time I went to, so I went to Kelowna and I said, I I think, I forgot who asked me if I voted out there, but I was like, yeah, like I didn't vote because they want Trudeau out. And I was like, what? Yeah. They're like, what? Yeah. It was like, it was you know, obviously It's a people. whole thing, yeah. White people. But they're like, and it was kind of microaggressive, honestly, because they were like, basically like, bro, like people like you like could change like the country. And, I, and in my head, I'm like, people, people like, like you. Yeah. People like, who, <laughs> they kept saying people like you, like people like you need to start voting. You're black. <laughs> <laughs> basically. Go vote, nigga. Go vote, nigga. You dumbass niggas. Complaining about this shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can be the change, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yo. That's I'm basically what she you. told you, bro. I was, yo, they made it a this big girl deal. Said, this said people like you. Yeah. Some people make that or like a what you guys just you guys just sit around on voting day and what smoke weed watch rap videos or something like what do you guys do just take thirty minutes out of your day fuck guys are terrible (laughs) I'm telling you but no you you didn't see that one time when Trump was like no Trump said he could be a dick sometimes the man was like he was talking to black people he's like bro what else do you guys have to lose like you might as well just vote for me come on like he literally was just like yo like what else do you guys have to lose like you guys have no other choice just vote for me. That's the same time I think he freed up Kodak and Lil Wayne. Yeah. So he's basically just like, yo, like, vote I for gave, Adam. I gave, you guys, I gave you guys your rap stars back. What's yeah, going on? Man. You guys love the rap. There's yeah, our olive branch. <laughs> and then Joe Biden tweeted, yo, if, you're, like, if you don't vote for me, you're not black. That's what he tweeted at yeah, that time. I too. remember him seeing that shit too. <laughs> I'm Joe like, Biden yo, tweeted that? Mm-hmm. That is crazy. Who would that fam? I, was, I remember seeing it on Twitter. I'm like, wow. That big, is big crazy. Grown yo, man tweeting. Him and Trump are trying to get the blacks fam. It was crazy fam. They're warring over who can get the black Americans. <laughs> Vote for me and get a free two piece combo of Popeyes. <laughs> Yo, Yo it's crazy like, to say for niggas who be at the voting polls. <laughs> what? Hey, you free Kodak? Hey, that's my guy. Yo, voting day, you see bad niggas with the Popeyes container. Say you voted. Yo, dog. Yo, dog. What? Yo, what? free lunch gang? <laughs> Yo, how can I say more with the pop? Yo, gang, just go down to that school right there and just vote, gang. They're giving these out like that. This is Russian biscuits off the face. What do you mean? Yo, uh, free lunch, dog? Get that, dog. <laughs> you better get your ass down to the polling stations. <laughs> That's so sad, niggas, bro. Niggas are coming back in disguises and shit. Yo. Yo. Would you just hear, sir? Nah, 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 nah. That wasn't me. <laughs> Yo, dog. Niggas. Niggas got to do better, bro. Uh, <laughs> damn. Yo, it's the Americans, though, better, they're, 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 I swear, they just like, you know. Damn, you guys don't remember what the Popeyes fucking said? <laughs> oh, my shit was God. Wild, God. Hey, that wasn't just niggas, though, bro. That was not. That was everybody. Was everybody. That was everybody. Come on. Dude, that was everybody? <laughs> that was everybody, dog. Don't just put the Latinos are in there. Yeah. <laughs> Sprinkle look at one, two, Asian. Uh, <laughs> like, down south, the white mans are there, too. Yo. <laughs> Boondocks predicted that one, dog. Boondocks definitely <laughs> 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 Holy fuck. Nah, yo, man's got to do better, bro. Holy. Nah. But our generation, though, like, I feel like voting is kind of, like, lost on our generation. Like, do you know anybody our age that, like, votes? I don't like, think my mom voted. Maybe never in her time. I don't know any, dog. <laughs> but if you do find people our age that vote, they're so, like, they're so about it. Yeah. And they, like, talk down on you for not doing it. Mm-hmm. That's, what? that's what I felt like it, I was yeah, happening like, in Cologne. Wait, you don't vote? Like, you're so irresponsible. Like... <laughs> Shut up, bro. Like, <laughs> and honestly, I'm a deep thinker too. I be thinking this shit's rigged already, bro. It's already yeah, that too. Like, that's what I feel too. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, like what are the bad people to get some poli- politics from? We're not winning, fam. <laughs> We're not. <laughs> We're not winning. Why? What do you mean? Especially when they watch this here podcast. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna see bear shit to cancel us. <laughs> bear shit. They're gonna use at the the you know. When Look what vote. he said on the what? What do you call it? Mm-hmm. The You Feel Me podcast. Uh, yeah. So what do you call our what young, episode? our young, our young white females of this nation? Snow bunnies, mm-hmm. huh? Indulging <laughs> in the milk. This is who you want running the country. What do you, what do you call us, uh, Blancas? <laughs> oh, is that shit. what you guys call us? That's all. That's, 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 that's Like, is this the person you want running our country? <laughs> you don't want handcuff him. Hate crime. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, we're cooked. Still. We're out of there. We can't there. run for no type of. Prime All right, so let's just run the internet, fuck. Oh, uh, that was that. Go to see. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Yo, you guys see um the fucking wait? You watch anime? 
Anime? Yeah. Not really. <clears throat> Not you ever watch like a Dragon Ball Z? R.I.P. Yeah. man. Back in yeah, the day. I know you too. That's why I asked. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You seen the Matt the Creator died, fam. Yeah. Yes. You know, no, that was that was pretty sad, dog. You know what I'm saying? My favorite moment is when uh you guys didn't watch it like that though. You guys are more Naruto. Yeah, I swear you're you're more Naruto. Nah, I watched I watched Dragon Ball Z, but like, I didn't watch like all the new ones that came out. Fam. Remember when uh, Teen Gohan turned like Super Saiyan 2 on yeah. Cell? That I remember that. That was crazy. crazy. Wow, because Goku, Goku wanted to get fucking Cell the thing. Yeah. He said, yo, son, deal with this. Yo, take that. But deal then on. remember, he murked Goku. Yeah. And then he, that's why he's like. Argh. And he, he had the one hand. Yeah. And he's like. Argh. And then with the daddy, yo, that, 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 was a, that, was a, that was an epic. No, that, that, that was, that's, that's one childhood show that's like forever dog I always right. remember that you know what's crazy Dragon Ball Z got away with some craziness what you know Super Saiyans are niggas what do you mean because they have the, the monkey tails right? <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy season <laughs> <laughs> that's what this guy's getting at nah <laughs> I, never heard that. I never heard that before because like yo they were like there's only like a certain amount of them like of their race like, mm. you know what I mean and like everyone is trying to extinct them and like they were like the strongest race and like yeah. they were like the most like like not look down but like you know what i mean like everyone's yeah. like yo like we can do it like you know what i mean Bro, i felt like i felt like if anything like pick you know piccolo mm-hmm. i feel like I the dynamics were niggas yeah, back that's what i thought still <laughs> Come piccolo. On, yo, yo piccolo was a nigga piccolo, 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 piccolo was definitely a nigga, piccolo, 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 nigga but, but that's why piccolo was fucking you know gohan's like yeah. godfather and takes fab he was in with the family because those are niggas too you see what i'm saying from a different planet though but how did the fact they're literally like white or whatever but that's what they so they had to, the tail? That's what they had to. That's what they had to make them for the show, gang. And then Frieza's like, "You stupid monkeys!" <laughs> Yo, <laughs> racist, gang. Frieza's yeah, racist, yeah, dog. Racist for sure. <laughs> monkeys, yeah, like yo. Every time the man showed up, he's calling them monkeys. That was well. Nah, Piccolo's yo. Piccolo's one of those characters. that's like they're not like. You know, physically like black, but like you know, you can black. tell by the essence of him. Yeah, you know, I feel like the voice and the way he moves. Yeah, exactly. Yo, 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 all the drip, show. dog. All the drip. <laughs> all the drip. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah that's a nigga, dog. <laughs> yo, but you know he's about to go crazy when he takes off the white. Like, yeah, she, yo, he's going. To go <laughs> but he always got, he always got bringled, fam. Yeah, he, fam, he, he, he got bringled. Yeah, he got bringled. He got bringled. He always brushed all the time. Came in moving saucy, arms crossed, and then next he does pop pop. But yo, he always was a hot head. He was low-key a hot head that always got brunch. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's a actually, hot head but can't fight. Yeah, you know? That's actually facts. <laughs> All bark, no bite. <laughs> yo, but what are those shows where it's like, they're not, phys- they don't physically look like, like a nigga, but like, just their attitude and like, like you see how Piccolo is like, like he's a nigga. Like everyone's going to say he's a nigga. Is there any other shows where it's like, like cartoons and shit? Like cartoons, um, yeah. Um, I can't even think of. I, there, I feel like there's some, but I can't even think of it right now. Though. So, I say like. So who, who in the backyard again was a nigga? Found the the girl that made uh, yeah, that she show. Died too, she yeah. died too, Doug. Oh, word. Yeah, yeah the girl that created Backyard Again. She died recently. You, know you know what I'm saying? That show went crazy. That show was so sick. I feel yeah. like Tyrone was the only nigga. Maybe Unico was a nigga too. Tyrone, Tyrone, Tyrone. 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 They're all niggas. Bro. <laughs> they're all niggas. They're all, niggas. They're all little black yeah. kids. Pablo. Oh, the, dog, all, all of them. I swear. Were? Say right. And the know. creator, she was black. So yeah. in her head, she's like, yeah. I didn't even know that. Are you talking about who voiced them? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, who like? I think it was them. like all young black kids, wasn't it? I didn't even. Nah, know you would that. think so, but not necessarily. I don't know who it is, but I'm oh. I can't think of a show right now. What? I'd say like. I don't know, like Arthur. Arthur was a nigga. You say Arthur was a nigga. Arthur was a nigga. <laughs> nah, I don't think Arthur was a nigga. Francine was a nigga. <laughs> yeah, Francine. Francine was a nigga. Yeah, was a nigga for sure. Muffy was a white girl. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <I> know. <laughs> Buster was a white boy. Yo. Binky was a nigga. Yeah, <laughs> Binky I'm was a nigga. You. Binky was a nigga, dog. Nah, there's those shows. I have to. I probably have to Google it, dog. But I remember someone made like a top five like list of like cartoon characters that are like niggas, but like not physically niggas. And Piccolo was obviously on there. Yeah, yeah. I can't to remember the next. Other shows are there. Obviously, I was like my mind brought me to the Boondocks, but obviously those yeah. are niggas, dog. Um, shit. If there's any niggas in SpongeBob? Who's a nigga in sport? Probably Squidward. Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah, nah Squidward. Squidward's not a nigga. So. Plankton? Yeah. <laughs> nah, nah. The only Sponge person close to a nigga is probably like Mr. Krabs. So I think Mr. Krabs is probably a nigga. Well, like a Terry Crews? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Krabs could be a nigga. So. Yeah, because that nigga was about his bread, fam. Yeah, about his bread. <laughs> Mr. Oh, Krabs was about, about his bread, bread gang. <laughs> money, 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 money. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, maybe the big D's lobster. Nah, that nah. was a, that was a that white was a boy. boy. That was a yeah, beach like a boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not. What other cartoons have I watched, bro? Freaking. You guys remember Kids Next Door? Of course. Oh yeah, Cold Kids Next Door. Kid Next Door. Yeah. 
That show sure went crazy. Tough. You gotta remember Fillmore? Fillmore. Fillmore. Oh, yeah. Fillmore. When he cussed out the girl because the chicken like, was dry? I, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. Yo. And by the way, tough, by the way, the food was dry. <laughs> Yo, that chicken, was, the chicken the, was the dry. Chicken was dry. <laughs> that did, was the coldest exit I, ever, though. I didn't like Fillmore stuff. Why was that nigga bald in grade three? <laughs> <laughs> That was grade three? No, nah, that wasn't grade three. I was just exaggerating. It was, young, like, it was like grade six. Yeah, like grade six. He was, was a like, whole detective. He was a hall monitor, no? Yeah. Yeah, that's a hall monitor. Like, I, like, yeah. I think he was a snitch then. Yeah, he was. That's what I'm saying. Damn. I didn't like Fillmore at the first, bro. He was a cool version of Randall, I guess, from recess. Yeah, that's a fact. He was definitely <laughs> a cool version. <laughs> like, out of all those shows, those are your guys' favorite. Oh, man. Cartoon Network's deep. Was that Cartoon, yeah, car- was cartoon. That cartoon Network? Recess was Disney. Recess nah. was Disney. No, no. Fillmore. Fillmore was Disney, too. Okay. Um, I, I fuck with Cartoon Network a yeah, lot. Yeah, Cartoon Network was sick. Crazy. Like well, Billy and Mandy, Grimm's, you know, Grimm's mm, Adventures. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Yo, what what genre would you say Courage the Cowardly Dog was? Like, thriller. Maybe thriller. Like, like a comedy. Fam, that was kind of inappropriate. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, like that too, that it came out late, though, fam. And it was like, it was like kind of like, like kids' horror. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, 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 what, like, what the fuck? Like, what am I watching? Like, yeah. No, Tell it to one heard. Yeah, Tolton was sick, bro. After Tolton that, was sick. Clone what, is that? High? what is that? Forty-five. Forty-five. Clone 45. High, Bromwell High. Yeah. Brom- Yo, Brom- dog, yeah, 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 yeah. The Keisha. Clone <laughs> High, Clone <laughs> High. <laughs> Bought you, dog. <laughs> Yo, uh, did you got undergrads? What's the undergrads that way? Rocco. Yeah, Rocko. yeah, yeah. I was about to. <laughs> and it's like, hey, uh, hey, guys. hey guys, cow. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Yo, that wait, is that which one is the show with the with the fucking what's his name? It's like all the former presidents. No, there's like Gandhi. That's Clone High. Oh, Clone That's High. Clone okay, High okay. Yeah. That was Abe Lincoln. And, and yeah, yeah. Abe, yeah. What Abraham Lincoln? Abraham That's Lincoln. Lincoln. Yeah, yeah, he was in it, and it was like all of them in like high school. Cleopatra. That was, that was, hard. That was hard. That was a sick yeah, show. Those, those shows, are late. You're awesome. naming the late shows. Though. Yeah, because those are all the sick shows, bro. You, you watch Robot Chicken. Robot too. Chicken. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Robot yeah. Chicken. Robot Chicken. Because after ten o'clock, it was like I think it would start with like Family Guy, then it would go Futurama. Yeah. Robot Chicken. Robot Chicken. Yeah. Kind of that was. That was definitely the lineup. Go from 44, mm-hmm. uh, South Park, Simpsons, South Park, yeah. then go to Robot Chicken. Mm-hmm. And then, I, uh, I would start off on YTV because that's when Dragon Ball Z would play after a certain time. Yo. But then I used to skip Reboot. Man, remember Reboot? I hated that I show. I fucking hated that show, bro. Reboot, Reboot is like people. The, it always came out right like, after Dragon Ball It was Dragon like a Ball 3D Z. type. Not 3D, but yeah, like, it was 3D. It was 3D. It was, it was 3D. like a 3D Blue type people. of show. I, I think I remember still. Weird, like I don't know. It's fucking stupid, though. I don't. That know show was ahead of this time, but like it, it might have been. It, not, not to put on that lineup. So I don't know what the kids are watching. You. That's about. yo. That's what I think <laughs> all YouTube, the time, man. bro. It's YouTube. it's YouTube, exactly. That's all my little sister. And Whatever it is on you, they're watching next people's lives. Man. That shit is destructive, though. And uh, and vlogs and shit, bro. Yeah. yeah. So that's all they watch, bro. Fam, I, I like, met. Oh, when we were growing up, like, bro, TV was like lit. Like, <clears throat> I'd start off with like going home, Family Channel, because like, bro. All the lit Disney Channel mm-hmm. shows are on. You had like Reese's. Raven, you had Sweet Life, you had Zoe 101, Smart Zoe 101, Smart Guy, Recess um, if you get home early enough, Fill of the Future. Yeah. Um, even all like, if you go to BET, like oh, Wayne, Wayne Bros, Wayne's yeah. Bros, Smart Guy was on there Jamie too. Fox Jamie Fox, Fox Jamie show. Fox show, yeah. Oh, Lee. Fam, I'm, those days, like when I think about it now, I'm just like, I wanna, like if I could go back one day and just like have a f- afternoon of just those same cartoons yeah. and. I you know, you know what used to be the best? Like, you would stay home, like, because you were sick. Mm-hmm. And then, fam, just the whole day, you're just watching Barry TV. Maury. Maury. Jerry Springer. <laughs> Daytime TV, bro. Those, Yo, those be shows. Best, those yeah. shows are always yeah. on when you're, when you stay in and you're yeah. sick. Yeah. Yeah. Maury and then Jerry Springer. Those yeah. shows are on, dog. Holy fuck. Yeah. That's not on no more, Maury. It's, I think that's you still, can catch that's, it on that's, certain that's channels. Still running. Yeah. I think it's, it's like, like 28. On like in the day, but it's, time. A, it's not. Like, no, it's my, like reruns. My dude yeah, still re-run. bang Mori, bro. That's you are bro. not the father. Armando. <laughs> 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 Yo, that man's ever watch a Young and the Restless? No, hell no. Uh, I never I, watched. I, it. I watched it with my mom one two times though. If I'm telling my mom, she watches that religiously even to this day. Yeah, because you guys understand how much seasons those guys are in. Deep that right niggas now? are <laughs> rich. <laughs> yeah, bro. I've never seen a show go as long as those guys. Everybody, like, Victor. Nah. He's caked. <laughs> the math bender since like fam. The math bender since I'm like six. Yeah. I've been hearing my mom talk about yes. this since I've been like six. Yes, fam. Fam. This guy has been running the strongest. Since I can comprehend TV. memories. Yeah, I remember Young and the Restless went way back. Yeah, that's times of our lives. I hate too. the intro too, fam. 
Every time I hear the intro, I get that. <laughs> yeah, like, I come home from school and I hear that. I'm like, yo, bro. With the slow intro. <laughs> bro, like, my, my that just to, pissed me off. My mom used to tune me the fuck out when I got home. Like, yo, wait till the show's done for yeah. any time. <laughs> oh, my gizzy, dog. That shit's probably, like, 40 seasons deep right now. Yeah, dog. I don't know, bro. But the, the cartoons now, when I see, like, even just when I look at it on Netflix or whatever, like they just don't look foolishness, bro. Look stupid. Fifty seasons. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Like they they don't look like like I don't know. That's I can see why kids probably don't want to watch it. Yeah, they're boring, bro. Yeah, you know. I'm not gonna lie. I seen some shit about some cartoon. I guess it's like supposed to be like some like like I guess like late night cartoon type of thing. Mm -hmm. Fam, it's like a balloon. He's like, oh, like, I want to eat this cucumber, whatever, whatever. Cucumber. Yeah, fam. And the balloon, like, it has, a, like, a mouth and face on the actual, mm. like, balloon part. <laughs> fam. Why did it eat the cucumber through the part that you blow up the balloon? And then the character's <laughs> looking at me like, how, how did you, like, where did that go? How did you eat it? Like, he's like you know, like, mm -hmm. you, and you ate it? Fam. The <laughs> cartoon basically suggested that the balloon put the thing up his body, bro. <laughs> Okay. That's but that's what channel is that? Fam, I don't know what channels are. Like I seen like on like like mm. an IG reel or something. Mm. And I'm like, bro, there's no way these are the type of like cartoon mans are watching now. Like, you, well, I think that one episode we said that like they're putting like the, the whole like you know such shit in the mm -hmm. kids, the shows these days, you know. But yeah, I feel like bro. they've been doing that though, like a yeah. lot of shows, just like slightly. Yeah, nah, that's that's all SpongeBob, fam. What do you mean? But SpongeBob's been kind of fishy. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's been. Like, he's been come on, dusty, I yeah, see yeah. that online, so I was like, "Yo, is, is SpongeBob a bot?" <laughs> nah, SpongeBob's a bot. Yeah, bro. Nah, he's yeah. a real nigga, bro. We had the same birthday. No, no, nah, SpongeBob's nah, a bot. Nah, nah, nah. SpongeBob's, SpongeBob's a bot. <laughs> when if, when that man's ever seen SpongeBob with a girl, so, so, Sandy. But so, that's his friend. You know, it could be his girl, but. He's not like that. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's my nigga, though. We had the same. Remember movie. when the mans were taking care of the fucking clam and SpongeBob was in the crib in the maid outfit, fam? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I remember that. Dude, SpongeBob was a cross dresser, though. Uh, SpongeBob was uh, a bot. That's why his show blew up, dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I put on a maid dress. But, uh, shit. 54 minutes. Any more questions or topics, or should we wrap this thing up? Yeah. Actually, I got a story, dog. Quick story. Mm -hmm. Story time. Do you guys believe in like we all we all know there's white privilege, right? You know, mm -hmm. yeah, white privilege. Have you ever felt like your blackness kind of helped you in a situation though? I'll give an example. So I was on the I was on the TTC this week, right? Just playing my music, sitting down. This homeless like crackhead and nigga started walking down to each person with like his pants basically down, <laughs> drooling. Can I have some change? Like oh, he just like you know he looked mosh up. Whatever. So he, like, I'm the only nigga in this section, right? <laughs> he goes up to every person, all white and probably like one Asian. He went up to every single one of them and asked them for money. Dog, the man went beside me and kept the moving. Dog. I was like, what the fuck? But like, I looked at him like, does he think like what? Because I'm black, I ain't got no, like, he probably had some negative stereotypes in his head, but like, was he white? He was white. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I, I look at a situation like that. I was like, yeah, don't talk. Like, I'm glad you didn't talk to me and like bother me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, that's probably what it I is. I looked at it a situation. I'm like, yo, my blackness, you know, help yeah. me. Cause I didn't want to, I did not want to confront this nigga. Mm -hmm. Didn't want him anywhere near me. Fuck. The man's pants were down. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, that's he, he went up to every single white person and they're like, uh, like, leave me alone. I'm like, good. Don't come near me, dog. <laughs> the man looked at me. And literally looked up, but like at the same time, kind of offended. Like. <laughs> <laughs> what the nigga broke? <laughs> you nigga broke, dog? What the fuck? You don't see this? And if I'm, I'm wearing, fam, it's not even like I'm wearing anything like, like, like I look proper. Like I, you, like you, see, you guys see me after work, I'm wearing like a dress pants, yeah, dress, dress shirt, shoes. dress shoes. Like yeah. I'm looking kind of proper. I have my winter coat on and that's it. The man still looked at me ways. You know what I'm saying? You're white and you're a crackhead and you still find ways to be racist? <laughs> That's insane. Yo, I said, yo, I might be begging for change, but I don't want to hear it. That's crazy. <laughs> That's pretty fucked. So. Oh like, like, I'm good on that. Yo. <laughs> nah, but both I was offended and I was relieved. I was like, you know, whatever. Bro. Nah, he definitely just looked at you like, yeah, let me not fuck with that nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I might get tongue. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably that too. Man. Probably, you know, yeah, some shit you know, like They know that. who they could get away with it with. So it's yeah. Like, that for sure but so I, I, think, what he's doing. I was thinking I'm like yo that's like kind of like black privilege in a way <laughs> I don't know whatever you want to call yeah. it the only thing that could come to mind for me bro with black privilege is 
Growing up and being the young little athletic nigga, yeah. I get picked first. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Facts. That's what I'm saying. There's That's black privilege. Yeah, That's like yeah, the, so. the most like level of black privilege I could think of. Uh, like, <laughs> yo, saying get picked first in, in school. For Recess. Yeah, the, master picking class. party, gym class. Gym class you know what I'm saying? Like, like, yeah, we know he's fast. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Keen, come on, my team. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hoop out. <laughs> come on, bro. Yo, you gotta ball out though, dog. Ball out. You gotta ball out. Oh, line, them high school on, gym no. classes, yo. Them, them boys used to think Mads are fucking NBA superstars. Yeah. I got movie. Yeah, we're winning the day. Let's go. Oh, and the white, when the white, the white boys in their gym class. Fam, when they're team captains, yeah. you're putting up forty shots on the on the gym class. They don't care. Pass, pass, shoot it, Malik. <laughs> Air ball. Get the next one. Pass, pass, shoot it, Malik. <laughs> Swish. That's why I picked you. <laughs> Yeah, man, that's the only thing I can think of, man. Duh, that's the black privileges of things, though. You know, situations like that. I'm trying to think, like, what other situation, like. Yeah. I guess just like shit like that, like. Yeah, you know? it's, it's like shit like that, like. Oh yeah, people like because you're cool, because you know people look at black people like, oh, we're so cool. Yeah. So like you know they want to be around us for that reason. Yep. It's mm-hmm. not like. Because, like, you know, like, white people, they get jobs and shit. Mm-hmm. It's not, like, real privilege. Like, what job are yeah. you getting being, like, you're black? Like, what job would you get? Like, like what job would being black, like, assist you in getting? I'm trying to think. I mean, I, mean, I, yeah. I, I there was a, there was a, there was a, a situation where I got a job like that just because I was black. Oh, yeah. 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 Bro, when I worked for a freaking yeah. CNE. <laughs> nah, but bro, it, it, I was, when I was working for CNE, right? And they have, like, all these different vendors, right? And they asked me which vendor I wanted to work in. Basketball. Like, basketball. <laughs> they put anything in the back, basketball. They put me exactly where I wanted to be. <laughs> like, you they know? said, yeah, he hoops. <laughs> Look, you know, that's the only time. That's yeah, kind of fun because every time I go to the C and E, there's always a little black kid at the basketball you. thing. I'm telling you, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, little, little black privilege, but also your name too. Because, like, what's it called? It's not, like, I remember one of my coworkers. They were making fun of me the other day because they were like, you "Got a black ass name, man. yeah, fam." <laughs> Yo, Jamar Tyrone with a, a, a hint of and I guess Lee, the league kind of like, like you know, yeah. but still, like, my mom gave me like the blackest, like, first two names in the world, fam. <laughs> For a light skinned nigga, I got the blackest names, yeah. fam. Jamar and Tyrone back to back. <laughs> fam, you know what would be funny? My like, name's Tyrone. A white family should have it, like, if they have a boy, they should name that nigga Tyrone just for the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the hell of it. I can't imagine a white guy named Tyrone, though. I can't though. either. That's a crazy I can't either, have, bro. So. <laughs> who, has the, who has the most nigga name here, though? Like, Terrell. I feel Not like Terrell's man. a nigga name, though. Terrell, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? I feel like your name's unique, though. Everybody loves my name. Okay. But, no one has it. but it's definitely a nigga name. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, like, you're going to see it. You're going to be like, yeah, he's yeah. The only time I've ever seen your name, I think you, what we called uh, Airbnb that time. Oh, and the yeah. woman. Mm. Yeah, actually, no, I met someone with my name, family. Really? It was actually a woman Same named name? Jamaica. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nigga name. Yeah. I said it's a nigga name. I was coming back from the Montego Bay Airport in Jamaica. And it was a girl, and her name was Okeen, and it was spelled the exact same way. Yeah, was like, that was the first really? time in my life I had ever met anybody with my name, fam. It was yeah. crazy. Yeah, name That's super, the only person you ever met. Unique, person. And then um, Airbnb one time when Mans were doing that thing, I called into customer support, and the lady's name was Okeen. Uh, <laughs> so it's two shorties, fam. I guess it's yeah, two, girl two names. girls. Oh, yeah. say word. Yeah. Uh, but white people love my name, though, fam. Mm-hmm. Every time they hear it, they're like, oh, my God, that's such a nice name. So exotic. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel like in the next, like, 15 years, there's going to be Bear O'Keefe yep. walking around. Like, <laughs> what does your name mean? O'Keefe. <laughs> <laughs> How do you spell it? <laughs> Is it like O hyphen? <laughs> oh, like, yeah. oh, my God. Your name's a nigga name, too, though, Bleak. Malik, a, yeah. I can't imagine. But it's kind of like a distinguished nigga name, you know? Because it's usually like Muslims and shit. Uh, yeah, there's some brown yeah. guys, like Malik and shit. Uh, Ma- I say Malik. Really. Malik, Malik yeah, though, yeah. They pronounce Malik. it Malik. Yeah, but Malik. Tyrone, though? <laughs> yeah, you definitely that might have be the most, top five. You have, the most, you have the most niggerish names, though. My, my, my middle names aren't like that. Tyrone is like close to Tyrone, yeah, though. Yeah, but then Tyrone's, Tyrone's right up there with Jaquan. Jaquan, yeah. You just know that's a nigga. Yeah. I've never met a white you named Terrell, so that's definitely a nigga. There's, there was, a, there, wasn't there a lady at, that worked at? Um, that's her last name, though. Oh yeah, yeah that's her last Miss name. Terrell. Yeah, yeah Miss Terrell. I remember her too. That was her last name. What's yeah. it called? But my name is Jamardo, so it's not you know my dad. My dad's name is actually Tyrone. <laughs> he's lighter than me. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So damn near think he's white. So, but here's the thing. So my coworker was making fun of me, and they were like, "Yo, like." You have, such like, you have such like a Negro name, like nigga name. And I was like, yeah, like, you know, I'm a nigga. Like, I don't you know. You better have been a black coworker. No, they're all black. Yeah, they're oh. all black. <laughs> okay. 
got such a Negro name. No. <laughs> they're, no, they're just roasting me. They're like, yo, you got the blackest name ever, like, type shit. Like, did your mom start your life on, like, hard difficulty? Like, <laughs> you know in the video shit. game settings? When you pick easy, medium, or hard? <laughs> or, like, advanced and moderate? That's crazy. They're like, yo, your mom said advanced for you. Like, you're starting your life on hard difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> Hardships. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Giving you Jamar Tyrone out the gate is crazy, that's, Doug. That's, that's, you know that's what I'm saying? All in, the, all in the hospital when you were born. They're like, yo, let's not even give this nigga that proper care because of that name. Stuff, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll say there's one time though I went for a job interview and they thought I was Asian. Like before I pulled up and they mm. see the nigga and they're like, I'm like, brother, you didn't hear the Jamar and the Tyrone before the leak? <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, though. Wait, you really expect that I was Asian? Even though my name is an Asian last name, but like, yeah. you know, so. You seen the lead and probably thought you don't. Mm. Like, that's how I got the call. <laughs> or maybe you were Blasian. <laughs> moms was moms was black. That was that was like Asian. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I just think I know some shit. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> a lot, yo, based off seeing your name, a lot of pr- people probably think you're Blasian, right? Yeah, and then I'm light skinned too. Starts so. black as hell, and then yeah. it goes to Asian. Yeah, guys, <laughs> Blasian on yeah. paper. <laughs> right? This nigga Lee, like. <laughs> It's as Asian as it gets. Uh, I do. I have an Asian grandparent, though. So uh, on my dad's side, actually. Bruce Lee's your cousin, fam. Probably. That's no. why I be whooping niggas' asses. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Like 0 and 4. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's the end of this part. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real, yeah, let's end this up. So, yes, unless you guys have a. Nah, man, we good. Yeah, that's it. What episode right? is that? 38? 38? Jeez, gotta do something for the 40th. We gotta do We gotta do something else, man. Fam, I told you guys I have the challenge. What's it, what is it? So basically, I don't think I heard. We have to wear clothes that you don't care about, though. So it's like, like if you're painting something, clothes you'd wear. Yeah. And we stand on a field and we have like a bottle, fam. And man, throw the bottle and whoever it lands on, basically, you have to grab like an egg. And all mans have to run. Mm. And the man has to, the man that the bottle land on had to grab an egg and throw it at a man. And then we basically start over after. Like, yeah. If you miss, you miss. If you get a hit, you get a yeah. hit type of no, thing. No, that's, I seen on TikTok. If I feel like a, that's more of a TikTok though. It is. I'm saying like, like for like, we should do something like, I don't know, like a YouTube, like what we did with the basketball yeah. and Q&A. Yeah. Like, that, that would be like a quick, like five minute True. on TikTok, you know? That's good though. It's funny. I've seen TikTok. There's, they're funny as fuck. And if you get hit, you're out. But I'm thing. saying, like, for the 40th, what? Let's, uh, like let's, let's put it out to our viewers, man. Let, like, let us know what you guys would like to see us do as Thank our you. 40th episode challenge, and you know, we'll get it done. Exactly. Let us know in the comments. Let us know. So, yeah. Other than that. Thank you guys for tuning in. Just like, comment, and subscribe, please. Like, subscribe. I see the analytics. Yeah. A lot of you guys are non-subscribers watching. We're all, subscribe. We're almost at what? 600. 600. We need to get to that Rizzy. Mm. Help us get to the rack. Please. We're you on the way, saying? man. Come on. Best pod in the city. Most entertaining. Most authentic. Most blood clot. Everything. Hey, man. The realest. Facts. You feel me? So. Yeah, yeah. And Mandem. Yeah. We out, baby. We out.